Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. But who is he? Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. And who is he? Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. And what he do? And he's gonna react to all the self snitching. Oh. Hi, this is Bruce Rivers. Welcome to another episode of Criminal Lawyer Reacts. I'm Bruce Rivers, board certified criminal defense lawyer. Board certified means I actually go to trial and I win. Sometimes we lose, but most of the time, probably seven or eight out of 10, I win. But I don't just hold your hand when you go to court. So that's what I do. Today, we're, uh, we're responding to ASAP Rocky, also known as Rakeem Mayers. He was arrested on Wednesday, and he's going to be charged with uh, 245A1, which is assault uh, with a deadly weapon in California. He was arrested at his Los Angeles, or uh, the LAX, uh, when he was flying in. And um, now we're going to show the video here, and I'll talk over it a little bit. But as you can see, the um, uh, LA County Sheriff's Finest uh executed a search warrant on his home and they took documents and i don't know exactly what they were looking for but uh certainly they were looking for something to corroborate some other element of the crime or some other crime um you know whenever you execute a search warrant or whenever you ask for a search warrant you have to have probable cause probable cause that a crime was committed that you committed it and the place to be searched uh there were you know there's likely to be evidence of that crime so one of the things that they have to do is generally they file what they call an application or the affidavit in support of the search warrant so so that document whenever we can get it will tell you why they searched their home but they you know when you ever and whenever you have a felony arrest especially when you're dealing with a deadly weapon like this um Cops don't take it lightly, and uh, if you can see with some of the other cases, like there was one in Minneapolis not that long ago, where the cops go to execute a search warrant, uh, or actually an arrest warrant, and, and the guy who was just laying there picked up a gun, and, and they shot and killed him. So it, it, those felony arrest warrants are nothing to be messed with. Um, but the allegation is that, uh, well, first of all, Myers was arriving on a private plane from Barbados, now you remember he's um, connected and entangled, as we should say, with uh, Rihanna um, and the father of her baby. But he was coming back from Barbados on a private plane. And according to law enforcement sources, uh, Rihanna was with Mayers when he was arrested and a search warrant had been executed as residence in Los Angeles. Now, uh, his attorney confirmed that his client was arrested and he posted uh, $550,000 bail according to the L.A. County Sheriff's Department booking report. Uh, he was released less than three hours. He only spent three hours. This is this is what it's, how it's nice to have resources. You know, the average schmo would probably have about the same amount of bail, and guess what? They sit there, and they sit there, and they sit there, and they sit there until their case uh, is done um, because it, most people can't afford that $550,000 bail. But nice to have resources. Um, he was released less than three hours after the bond uh, was posted and uh, court set for August 17th. Uh, Mayors is a suspect in November. So this whole incident stemmed from a shooting that happened in November um, at the Vista Del Mar and Selma Avenue around 1020 p.m. according to the L.A. Police Department. The shooting victim told police that Mayers was walking with two others, approached him with a handgun on the street. The victim claims that Mayers shot at him three or four times that he believed to be uh, one of the bullets grazed his left hand, according to police reports. Uh, the shooting had not yet been reported in the media. In a statement to Twitter after publication of this article, police gave uh, the details of the November incident. So they, uh, you know, they the sheriff's department you know posted a tweet as to what happened and they said early this morning lapd officers arrested mayors uh for assault with a deadly weapon at the los angeles international airport the case will be you know that's really got to be disconcerting you're just coming off of a nice vacation barbados is a beautiful place to be and you know and you're protected in a private plane or so you think and all of a sudden la's finest come and uh, give you another place to stay for a while uh, the case will be presented to Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office for filing consideration. We checked uh, both the district court and with the L.A. District Attorney's Office. They don't have a criminal complaint yet. I love how you can charge somebody uh, or arrest somebody with a warrant, make them post bail, and you don't even have a criminal complaint yet. Um, the police said uh, uh, the shooting occurred after an argument between uh, 
between ASAP Rocky and an acquaintance. Uh, they made the arrest with, with the assistance from Immigration and Customs, ICE, and Homeland, Homeland Security Investigations team. Uh, let's see. Now, remember, in 2019, uh, he was arrested in Sweden after a street fight. Now, that this is kind of a weird situation. Um, he, I, he and his entourage were being chased by two men, uh, and he, ASAP Rocky was, in my opinion, defending himself. Um, he wound up pleading guilty and spent 30 days in jail. It might be a question as to whether or not that that assault would come in. I doubt that it would because generally to get a prior bad act in, it's called 404B, to get a prior bad act in, it has to be either uh, have a same common scheme, scheme, plan, purpose, motivation, that kind of thing, or um, or a crime of dishonesty like a felony uh, or or a crime of dishonesty to, to bear on your truthfulness if the person testifies. I, I just don't see it here. It, it, it's in all likelihood it would be the equivalent of a misdemeanor assault. Um, and so I just – what's all, all it would be is bad character evidence, and, and that is not admissible. So I doubt that. But he paid a, a little more than $1,000 in damages, served a month in jail. And if you remember, Donald Trump uh, – made a big thing about him trying to help him and I don't think he did anything for him really but um, so but here's the deal now he's charged with he's going to get charged with um, assault with a deadly weapon I think you know they might look deeper into it all of a sudden not charge him LA is a really weird uh, kind of place in terms of criminal law and how they work um, you know most places you, you draft a complaint either a complaint warrant or a summons the person comes to court posts the bail or he doesn't post the bail you have a court hearing first and then you get going with the case not so here he's got a court date of august 17th and he hasn't even seen one document yet to see what he's charged with the um uh issue here is you know if you look deeper into this could he be facing more serious charges like depending upon what the circumstances were a few if you're firing a few shots at somebody you could get a uh not only assault with a deadly weapon you might even be charged with a uh, attempted murder i don't i don't we don't know all the facts I and mean, we we tried to get a copy of the complaint but none is available as of yet now now we're this is another one of these gun cases and we've seen over and over again different variations of gun cases um we did uh the baby's case and we saw how in both of his cases, you had a, uh, one was definitely um, self-defense, and the other one's defensive dwelling kind of case. In uh, this case, you know, if the other person was unarmed, it's very difficult to say that he was using reasonable force. You are a celebrity, and, you, and then that takes you in a different realm because you are a target. I think at that point. But notwithstanding that, you still have to abide by the laws that are on the books. And some of the laws on the books don't allow you to use deadly force unless you're threatened with deadly force. So you need to meet like force with like force. And remember what I said. And you can't use the theory of self-defense if you are the aggressor. So if he's deemed the aggressor, uh, and that's a jury question. But uh, and, and also remember, self-defense is not what they call an affirmative defense. You have to put forth some showing that there is self-defense, but it's the kind of defense that the um, prosecutor has to disprove. In other words, the prosecutor has to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that it was not self-defense. You don't have to prove that it was. You just have to make some reasonable showing, and then once you get the instruction, it's up to the uh, prosecutor to prove that it wasn't. It's kind of a different animal. There's, n there aren't too many other concepts like that in criminal law. So we wish uh, uh, ASAP Rocky the best, and uh, he's got good lawyers, I'm sure. When you've got that kind of dough, you can afford the best talent out there, and hopefully he does. And uh, you know, these guys also sometimes can be uh, prey to charlatans. You know, they get an advice by some guy, and then they take him and. Let's hope that's not the case. I'm sure he's got good representation. So this is Bruce Rivers. Thanks again for watching. Um, subscribe. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Twitter. Um, spread the word. Uh, sign up for Patreon. And we'll see you next time here on Criminal Lawyer Reacts.